An historic site in Yonkers reopened after a $20 million renovation. The work at Phillips Manor Hall Historic, State Historic Site, that is, took 18 months, and CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports that it finally tells a complete story dating back 350 years. In the heart of downtown Yonkers, a beautiful 17th century structure sits on a foundation of human suffering. Very ugly, you know, learning about just Africans being enslaved here, um, living in the cottages and just that that's heartbreaking because but that's American history and we have to tell that. A complex and intertwined history is now front and center at Phillips Manor Hall State Historic Site after a $20 million renovation. We've been telling the rich guy at the top story, but he did not live alone. State Parks historian Lavada Nahan says the site puts into context the lives of the native Muncie people, the European settlers, and the Africans they enslaved, 80 of them at one point, working the land and enriching the Phillips family. Enslaved peoples lived here, they worked here, they built this community, as well as the Native American story, so it's just righting the wrongs of the past. The governor toured the reopened site where a new elevator improves access and extensive new displays improve understanding. Technology is used extensively to tell the stories here to bring historical figures to life. I have broken our alliance with the British to fight with George Washington. The site also uses QR code technology to launch augmented reality scenes on your smartphone. Some of us are connected to our phones, so to be able to digitally access that and to get more content through that really expands that whole experience. The site is named for the Phillips family, but other names now are given their due. In Yonkers, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.